all right guys welcome back to the channel it's always a pleasure to see you again and uh, we're going to do a another day of heating and air conditioning so let me give you a rundown of what we're doing today uh, we have a customer who um, uh, we've been out there before we found their system low in freon and um, basically they can't afford to, to replace their system now and um, we're going to try to get them uh, a little bit more life out of the system until it, they can afford to actually replace the unit. Uh, and so they know that the system needs to be replaced, but they're, you know, just trying to do what they can to, to limp it along until they can save up the money. Because, of course, heating and air conditioning nowadays, as you know, is very expensive. So if you're like me, you have to save up your money to, to afford something that big. But anyway, uh, what the customer wants us to do is uh, they want us to add leak seal into their unit. Um, if you've ever watched any of my videos before, I'm not a very big fan of leak seal. Um, because, I mean, it's basically one of those things is you, you put it in and you have to let the system run to see if it works. Um, you know, I don't want to knock it. A lot of people, I know if, you, you know, if you're watching your part of heating and air, you say, oh, I love it. It works like a, you know, a perfect champ. You know, I've had many times it works, um, but also I've seen sometimes it doesn't work. But, I, you know, the system, has, it has to be installed properly. It has to run for, for a while uh, for the, the leak seal to circulate through the unit, um, give it enough time to do that. But I've seen many, many times that the leak seal didn't work. And, um, you know, a, a month or two, um, you know, the system's leaking again. So, I mean, this is an option you can always give your customers. But always let them know uh, the possibility that, you know, it's a waiting, wait and see thing. I know as far as we go, we don't guarantee uh, repair with the leak seal. Um, because, I mean, there's, just, there's no way. Um, the only 100% way to uh, take care of any leak is to always do and I always recommend the best way is to do a leak search you can find out where your leak is and you can at least better inform the customer but uh, but this customer they didn't want to do that but they didn't want to spend the money on the leak search because they know they're going to replace it uh, eventually uh, leak searches are kind of expensive too so they just, they just wanted to go with the leak seal option so today I'm going to do the leak seal so what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry you along show you our process of um, how we do it, how it's done. Uh, so if you want to see how I do leak seal, um, stay tuned and I'll show you how I do it. See you in a second. All right, guys, I'm out here at the uh, equipment that we're going to inject the leak easy seal in. Um, I've got the equipment running. Um, I've got my gauges hooked up. I'll show you how I did that. Let me show you the type of leak seal that we're using. It's called Easy Seal. If you can see it. Um, this is the one that we usually use to, um, to do all our Easy Seal installations. But, um, but basically what Easy Seal was really doing, just to give you a, a heads up, if you've got a leak in the system, you inject this seal into the unit and it's supposed to circulate through your coils, your condenser, your evaporator coil, your line set. And basically, how I understand it is there's some reaction in there that um, the chemical finds oxygen. I think this is what I've been told, uh, and it, it adheres to that. It, it forms some type of bond, and, and supposedly it's supposed to seal any uh, it will small leaks. Uh, I guess as a rule of thumb, what I've always been told, if it's under three pounds low in freon, that you can use Easy Seal. Uh, if the unit has a big leak, like you can actually see the leaks, see it spewing out, Easy Seal isn't going to do anything. Um, but it's hard to judge. I mean, I think this system is probably about a pound low in Freon, you know, um, when we found it. Um, so basically, if Easy Seal is going to work on a system that was one pound low, um, if, it, if it's any good, it should work. So we're going to try Easy Seal on this one. But uh, all right, let me show you what I did. I've got my gauges hooked up. Show you everything here. I've got my red high side line hooked to my high side service port. Now, forgive me, I don't have a yellow 
hose here. Uh, mine broke, so I'm using another red line, but this is usually a, a, a yellow line. I've got my middle line going to my low side. And so basically what's supposed to do is you're supposed to open up your, your high side service port. That high pressure is supposed to come up through. That freon's gonna come through, come back through down through your line here, and it's supposed to push this easy seal into your low side. So we're using our air conditioner and taking the high pressure from your air conditioning line to push that into the system itself um, and to get that uh, easy seal into the system. So I'm getting ready to, I, I'd like to see you see it going in, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bump this. But you see, as soon as I open it up, See, when I opened up that high side, that high pressure went into that, that tube and pushed that easy seal into the system. Now, what I've always been told, um, you know, from our dealer that sells us this, you're always supposed to let the system run for about a good 30 minutes after you uh, install the easy seal. Um, you know, that's to basically get a good, um, good coating, I guess is what you call it into the inside of your evaporator, your condensing unit, your, um, your uh, line set. And I'm, I've heard, you know, in times past that other people, they say, I've never run into this before, and if you guys are running into it, please let me know, but um, that Easy Seal and stuff like this has clogged up or stopped up pistons or TXVs, and personally, I've never saw it, but... Uh, if, it, if that is the case, uh, I guess that's what the 30 minute runtime is for, is to get it fully circulated and keep it moving in the system for it to do whatever it does. But, um, all right, we, we got the easy seal in. We're gonna let this thing run for 30 minutes. I'm not gonna keep you on here watching this system run um, because that makes for a boring video. But, uh, but, okay, well, we got the easy seal in. And uh, I guess it's time to, to go. I don't want to go. I enjoy talking to you guys. Uh, but I know you got other stuff to do. So as always, like and subscribe to my channel if you learn something. Uh, I really starting to like doing these videos. And I'm hoping to help, I'm helping you out. So uh, if I'm helping you out and you're learning, please comment and let me know. And if you comment, please be nice. My feelings are, are uh, get hurt really easy but uh all right i'll see you guys on the next video stay tuned